Hey guys, I'm super excited. The Ammo Rupes Polisher is in the house. It took about a year and a half to get here. Super excited, a huge honor and a privilege. Now this, from what I understand, is the only factory direct meeting. It was made in the factory. As you can see, I'm editing a little bit of video here. I went there and, and helped them make it. It was super cool. Again, massive privilege. Now by the end of the video, we're gonna go over all the steps of how they actually made it, how they painted it, what's inside the box. Plus, I have two special gifts. So let's hop in and I'll show you the behind the scenes. In Italy, the plastic components were first primed and painted in white with the ammo shield and logo on the handle. Then it's painted again, this time in red over the stickers. Now, once it's dry, you pull those stickers off, revealing the underneath color. In this case, it's white. Now, this goes without saying, but the amount of intricate work on these polishers was completely insane. A few weeks later after they dried, they were carefully shipped from Italy to Denver for U.S. manufacturing. And when they arrived, I visited the factory to watch them all being built. Next, Francisco walked me through the very specific and precise process to build a polisher from all the parts that came in from the Italy factory. Now, if you remember from my Italy trip a while back, I filmed how Rupes makes its own copper motors and all these other parts that go into their machines, and then they send them to the factory in Denver. Once all the parts arrive, the pieces are put together in various stations with multiple pneumatic presses and machines in pre-made jigs that hold the parts in its various staging of manufacturing with what feels like 50, maybe 60 little pieces of bearings and brushes and washers and screws and so on to go from just a motor to a final tool testing. But all of this was done with individually wrapped and freshly painted parts, making it much more challenging. So to be there to watch 100 factory-made ammo polishers come off the line was an amazing honor. Now from there, I signed each machine, which was a little bit more challenging as a righty because of the backing plate, but we got through 100 in no time. Also keep in mind, each polisher has a specific serial number from 0 to 100 and a numbered signed card that goes along with each polisher. Once all the signatures were done and on the cart, Jason moved them over to the packing station where the ammo bags were filled with a custom polisher, three liquids, three pads, a numbered card, and a custom painted tumbler. First, they had two layers of paint hand applied and then sanded by machine and sanded by hand before the ammo shield was added, painted again, sanded again, and then finished in a matte clear coat. All again, this was done by hand, completely insane. Keep in mind, there's only 100 of these ever made. These are equally stunning and rare, and I thought it'd be a great addition to the limited edition ammo polisher. Well guys, there you have it. There's everything that's in the ammo kit. Now I did mention that we have two really cool gifts. The first one, as you can see, uh, this is the cup. I took it out. Uh, there was only a hundred of them. So this is one of a hundred. I replaced it with a black one. That's actually not matte. It's gloss black. It's super cool inside. I opened the top and I put one of those little miniature uh, keychain polishers from Rupes and on the pad, on the face of it, I drew a little symbol, put it inside and covered it up. Open it up. We're going with that one, man. We're going with that one. Is it here? I put that randomly in one of the bags. What that's going to get you is a $250 gift card for uh, ammo products online. Just make sure you take a picture or Instagram or send it to me so I know it's you. Now, the second one is pretty ridiculous. I can't believe we're doing it, but uh, I'm, I'm just really jazzed out about it. So inside one of the bags, you're going to find this certificate. So the certificate is going to entitle you to a day at the shop here in Connecticut with me and Jason Rose is going to fly in. We're going to have some crazy car to do. Probably going to film it, go through all of the products and the, and the machines and the pads. It's going to be an absolutely amazing day. So I'm 
I'm bouncing off the walls for that. So those are the two gifts that are, again, randomly put in there. Now, finally, I, I do want to mention, uh, if this is your first polisher, uh, you can probably buy one or two different polishers instead of this. This is a collector's item, and it's obviously got a $1,000 paint job. So this is kind of more designed for somebody to put it on the wall or to use it occasionally, that kind of thing. Uh, so if you're new to the industry, make sure that you, uh, you know, buy the appropriate one. And of course, uh, a huge thank you to the Rupes team out in Italy and in the United States. Rob, the CEO there, has been super helpful. And we have uh, Kyle, who's packing everything, Dylan, who helped me with the marketing, Sarah, who is helping Jason, and of course, Jason Rose, uh, one of my dearest and closest friends. Uh, they've been uh, super great to work with over the last year and a half putting this together, and I just couldn't be happier. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.